it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, 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 in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo do Gino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 30th, 2020. Matthew 14 verses 29 to 31. Verse 29. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water, to go to Jesus. 30. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me 31 and immediately jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him O thou of little faith wherefore didst thou doubt quotations from the spirit of prophecy when trouble comes upon us how often we are like peter we look upon the waves instead of keeping our eyes fixed upon the savior our footsteps slide, and the proud waters go over our souls. Jesus did not bid Peter come to him that he should perish, he does not call us to follow him, and then forsake us. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Isaiah 43 2 Desire of Ages, page 382 Jesus read the character of his disciples. He knew how sorely their faith was to be tried. In this incident on the sea he desired to reveal to Peter his own weakness, to show that his safety was in constant dependence upon divine power. It was on the point where he thought himself strong that Peter was weak, and not until he discerned his weakness could he realize his need of dependence upon Christ. Day by day God instructs his children. By the circumstances of the daily life he is preparing them to act their part upon that wider stage to which his providence has appointed them. It is the issue of the daily test that determines their victory or defeat in life's great crisis. Those who fail to realize their constant dependence upon God will be overcome by temptation. We may now suppose that our feet stand secure, and that we shall never be moved. We may say with confidence, I know in whom I have believed, nothing can shake my faith in God and in his word. But Satan is planning to take advantage of our hereditary and cultivated traits of character, and to blind our eyes to our own necessities and defects. Only through realizing our own weakness and looking steadfastly unto Jesus can we walk securely. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages, page 382